So I got, I got kind of a big announcement. Top of the morning, friends and family, is nothing like starting the vlog and then realizing that you haven't even been recording for the first segment at all. The camera wasn't on whatsoever, but we're going to, where are we going, Mommies? Jack Creek Farm. Where, Noah? Jack Creek Farms. Jack Creek Farms. I thought we were going to Avila Barn, so I put on pants. Because Avila Barn is closer to the ocean. This place is not so much closer to the ocean, so I'll be, I'll be warm. I already stink a little bit. I busted my butt this morning so I could be ready to go to this uh, place and check it out. So I, I don't I don't know exactly what's going on at it. Hillary, what's going on at this place? We're going to find out. <laughs> We're going to find out. Hillary's over it this morning already. She's done. No, I'm just tired up all night with multiple children whining and crying for reasons I don't know. Because I was crying because he had a bloody nose. He did have a bloody nose, but he was like crying but like still asleep. He'd be like, no, I drink some water. And then at one point he, I was sitting right there and he goes, where did you go? And I was like right there. I don't know. He was like sleep crying or something. And then don't worry, mommies. There will be a day when we get to sleep through the night again. It's coming. It's it's gonna happen. You get to. I woke up too. I woke up. I went right back to sleep. But I pretended you weren't hearing me. Help asking you for help. It's because I know this. Somebody tells me in the morning. Oh, I heard you. Yeah. Well, some of us have to work in the morning. And by, by the way, I, I got a bunch of, uh, I got some new pictures up on the Freedom Breeder website. We're offering the uh, deli cups as sleeves so you don't have to buy it. We're not in a tunnel. Yeah, we're in a tree tunnel. Oh, we missed it. We're offering the deli cups in individual sleeves for people that don't have hundreds of snakes. It might be a little more economical for you to get just a sleeve instead of a whole 500 box. But um, when I get back to the house, I'm going to show you a little hack where if, even if you don't have a tub, or a thing that, you, like any enclosure you possibly have where you can use these deli cups because deli cups are a great way to make sure your snakes always have fresh, clean water and it makes it really easy. So I'm gonna show you a little hack that um, that I find is helpful. Even if you don't have tubs that have the built-in deli cup holders, I'll, I'm gonna show you when we get home. I also gotta take a lot of pictures of snakes. I'm decided I'm gonna put stuff up on Morph Market just so I have it there. I paid the uh, premium so that I can have extra pictures on Morph Market and I have literally no snakes listed on Morph Market right now just because, uh, I don't know, because they don't usually make it long enough to get there, but I do have more snakes this season than I've had previous seasons, so I'm going to put them up there. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. This girl is a climber, man. She just wants to go and climb and be as dangerous as possible. Don't you, T? Don't you, T? You danger girl. Daddy daughter date. Super cute. Can I have a snooch? So, what do you think of last night's debates? Yeah, that's how I feel too. So this place is actually quite a bit like Avila Barn. Just smaller, less people, a little bit warmer, but very similar. Animals and little gift shop and uh, farm supplies and it, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of places like this in this county which are, which are cool. It's great to bring kids to and I like it here. I like where we live. I hope you guys like where you live too. Eli. What? What do you know? No time for that. Quack, 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 quack. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Cats. What about cats? That there is so many in the different species. And there are house cats. There are mountain lions, there are lions, there are tigers, there are saber-toothed tigers, and that's all I know.
Something I completely forgot to mention to you guys is that our, our bass player, well our whole band, my whole band that I used to play with in Hawaii, those guys are doing a little California tour and, and bass player Ryan should be here today and then the rest of the band tomorrow and I'm thinking that maybe we can play one of the old songs for you guys on one of the vlogs coming up real soon, like tomorrow. If you guys would want to hear something like that, if you want to hear that, leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll talk to the guys, see if we can't just sit in the backyard and jam out a song for you real quick. What do you think about that? We're out here harvesting lavender. That was that was the main point of coming, right? Mommy's harvest lavender? Yep. No. All right. Lavender chocolate. You gonna make some? Yeah. Watch out, T. Ow, my knee. <laughs> Look at this, we got a fire hydrant for the dogs to pee on in the little mini dog park here. Why am I on a slant? Whoa, whoa. So I got, I got kind of a big announcement. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take over the California Roaming Reptiles thing and just, just on Mondays for now, I'm gonna schedule one show a week, uh, you know, in August once Brandon's actually done and moved to Wisconsin. So if you missed the previous videos about that, we can go back and watch them or if, you, if you're here along for the whole ride, then yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna start off small, start slowly so I don't overwhelm myself and see how it fits into the balance of everything else. And Part of me thinks that I'll probably really like it a lot and end up wanting to do more. So, but we're just gonna we're gonna ease in and see where we go. Brandon's got some animals he's gonna bring, so I can have some lizards as well to have for the educational shows, not just all snakes. But I'm pretty excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Well, maybe a lot bit nervous. Whoa! A, lo a lot bit nervous, but uh, but mostly excited. It's a nice haul there, mommy. I know, right? Small. And I Sweat. Told you it was gonna be warmer out here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys that water dish hack, and then we're gonna take some photo. Wooza. They're paving our street down below, which is pretty cool because we're gonna have a nice smooth street. The thing's pretty rough, but in the meantime, getting back to the house is a little bit tricky. Come on, let's do this photography stuff. So my photography setup. I'm gonna just go over this real quickly for those of you guys that might be interested in trying to get better photos of your snakes or of anything for that matter. See, cell phones actually take really great pictures these days. You can get some sweet pictures. The problem is it's always on automatic. The white balance is automatic. People say about, oh, look, this is the snake in natural sunlight. That doesn't really matter if your white balance is set to automatic. The, the white balance is automatically adding either yellows or blues to balance out the white so that it looks white. The idea is if you're taking actual representative pictures of your snakes, the white will be white in the photos and not yellow or not blue. And the reason I really like to take that extra step to get the most accurate colors possible is that I want people to see the snakes that they're getting and be able to see, you know, first of all, make them look nice so that people can actually get a good look and, and see something beautiful, which helps, you know, make that animal uh, stand out to people. But also, so when they get the snake, they're not like, but this doesn't look anything like the snake in the picture. I want it to look exactly like the snake as it looks in reality. And that's, that's, that requires some, a little more attention to detail and good lighting. So here's what, I, here's what we got. So I'm using the light box again. At one point I stopped using the light box and was just using camera flash and bouncing it off of the ceiling, diffuse the light so there's a nice soft light on everything. And now I'm kind of doing a combo of both. I got a flash on each side and still shooting them up at the ceiling, but then still also having the light box to give an extra layer of diffusion. Now for me, the more diffusion you can get, the better, the more the light is diffused. It makes it nice and soft. You don't have any harsh shadows. I'll show you an example when I take a couple pictures here. Now there, there are some times when you might want harsh shadows, like if you're taking a picture of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine or something, then those harsh shadows are kind of good for that type of shot. But when I'm taking pictures of my snakes or a lot of other things I like to take pictures of, I prefer a nice soft diffused light. That way you can kind of see all of it and it's not, you don't get distracted by the harsh shadows. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, that's a horrible example. Of, of what light looks like when it's not diffused and it's just shining directly on your subject. That's just bad. It doesn't look good, right? I don't think it looks good at all. So if I diffuse the light, bounce it off the ceilings, let it bounce through this light tent and everything, just look at the difference. See, now doesn't that look so much better? I think it looks a lot better. If you want to learn how to manually control your camera, that's a whole different subject. And I did do a video on that. I'll link it right here. 
but there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to manually control your camera and all that stuff. So I don't want to get caught up in the details of that here. I just want to show you the difference of what it can look like versus what it can look like. Hack. This is, this is the hack right here. It's simple. It's a four inch PVC coupling and you can take one of these deli cups, throw that sucker right in there. And if you don't have, no matter what kind of cage you have, or no matter what kind of tub, no matter what you're keeping anywhere, this will, you can use this to hold it in place to keep the animal from knocking it over. And then when you're switching out waters, you just take this out, recycle it, and then put a new one in and you've got really clean water. Water, the most important thing for your animals to have clean water. That is nothing more important than that. Oh, all this half bent over nonsense is ridiculous. I am done. So my t-shirt for Southwest Carpet Fest just arrived. I think we might have a small problem. Yeah, small is definitely the problem. I don't know what happened. I, I definitely ordered a large. I'm not sure what's happening. I did call the company. They're sending me a new one. It should be here by the time Carpet Fest rolls around, which is on July 27th. If you didn't know, we're hosting Carpet Fest this year and I would like you to come, but you need to make sure you go join the Facebook group and RSVP there because if you're not RSVP'd on the Facebook group, you might have to create a Facebook account. I don't know, whatever you got to do to RSVP on that Facebook group. You got to do it because my neighbor's going to be waiting at the bottom of the driveway with a shotgun. So if you're not on the list, you're not going to make it in. You think I'm joking? Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, freedom. Uncle Ryan is officially in the building. Yeah, what's up? We're gonna we're gonna chill out, and then tomorrow we might sit down and sing a song for you guys on the back porch. You think that's something we can maybe that do? That sounds some? like something we could do. I think we're gonna do that. All right, you guys have a yeah. great day. We're gonna get the rest of the crew over here and we do it. Do it. Do it to it. Bye bye. <laughs>